I'm looking for a camera bag uh, because I bought the Nikon uh, D3300. I'm looking online and I think they're quite expensive. I didn't expect the bags to be that expensive. I mean, they're cheaper bags, but they're not really good. And um, I got a little bit greedy when I was selecting the camera. I want this feature and that feature, and you don't want to settle for less. So I spent a little bit too much money. And uh, now I'm looking for a camera bag, and that's also really expensive. So um, I was thinking maybe I can make a, a camera bag myself. I mean, how hard can it be? Um, these bags that I find here are like soft bags. I would prefer a hard case bag anyways over a soft bag and, and then have the cushioning on the inside. So, and um, yeah, so I thought I have lots of stuff at home in my workshop that I don't use and uh, let's see if I can come up with a solution to make my own camera bag for free. So um, let's get to it. So here you see the stuff that needs to go in the bag, a camera, another camera, another camera uh, and some accessories like cables and a charger and lens caps and uh, this kind of stuff. And you all want it to be nice and secure into the, the case. This is the case that I found. Um, this is actually a case I got for free from the Hubo store as a gift when I purchased something else and they just gave this for free it's kind of crap but as a camera hard case i think it works out pretty well this is some cushioning that i had from packaging stuff to uh, make nice cushioning effect for uh, inside the case and here i'm cutting it up And I'm sticking it together with double-sided tape or even with a needle and a thread. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Uh, a nice strong box. Uh, some foam that I had uh, left over. Here you see I made a pad that uh, goes underneath the camera lens to support it. I can use these for separation. This is an example of the cushioning um, separation pads that will keep everything in place and not bumping into each other. I think that should work out really well. And for the fabrics, I took a look at my uh, girlfriend's uh, fabrics that she has lying around and uh, these are the ones that I like. And this one is really soft so that's good but uh, I don't really like the color. I think the red, the blue and the tiger or panther, I don't know, I think that will be really cool together and then this uh, blue as the outside and the inserts will be of this fabric here you can see me cutting the fabrics into the, into the right shapes and then I had to start sewing on my girlfriend's uh, nice sewing machine Okay, I'm about halfway um, making these pads and uh, I found myself some bad news. As you can see here, these things they come loose and of course that's just from uh, cutting it. But also when I put my nails like this and I can just pull them out. And that's bad news because these little fibers they will get in, uh, in my camera lens and what not so this case is meant to protect it from dust and rain and shocks not to put it in a dust hazard zone so that's bad news uh, that means that uh, the red one I have to do uh, again so I can trash it and do it again but the blue ones I must say uh, for the first time not bad it will do the fabric is nice and uh, yeah so I will continue with that and I have some other red fabric, um, same color but uh, this quality 
Um, and I will use that instead of the uh, velvet red one. So that's a little setback, but um, I'll get there. When I did all the sewing with the machine, uh, of course one end is still not uh, closed because it's impossible in the machine. So I had to do it by hand and um, here you see a nice picture that I made with the new camera which is just playing around a little bit. Here you can actually see me do the sewing. Um, that was a lot of work, really a lot of work. So here I'm halfway through and uh, back to the sewing. I didn't have another picture but you get the picture. And finally...